Surprise! I didn't die. So, um, <laughs> it's Coach Row with Waterration. I thought I would pop in here today on a uh, Saturday and kind of make up for my missed hump day health and fitness this past Wednesday. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I still kind of feel like crap, but um, I didn't die. And I was literally out of commission for like two days. I'm not sure um, if it was what's going around because what's going around had symptoms that I certainly didn't have. Um, but I do feel better. A little scared to eat, but um, I will eat because eating is, is key and staying, you know, keeping your energy levels up. But anyways, so um, I did want to talk about um, our last part of the 20, 21 day um, challenges that we do here for um, on social media that a lot of um, a lot of these coaches or fitness places do and um, oh, lights weird in here hopefully I don't look that bad but anyways um, so these 21 day challenges you know I, I covered the plank a couple weeks ago and the push-up the week previous um, you know they're not necessarily about getting you results um, more or less they're about developing you know better habits and it takes 21 days to break an old habit and 21 days to create a new habit so today I'm going to cover the squat the squat is actually super duper important when it comes to our daily lives it comes you know it boils down to you know how we go about carrying our weight um, and it really does play into so many aspects of our body a squat is gonna take core strength um, obviously leg strength um, you know it, your core consists of your you know your abdominal muscles as well as your back muscles so um, you know having a good squat is key in terms of anything um, if you're gonna you know take it to the next level and load and you know use that for your fitness or just having it so that you can do simple things you know like pick up things at home when you're cleaning or at work to pick up a proper form so that you can reduce the risk of injury um, so we'll get right into it um, as far as a squat, you know, a regular squat setup is going to be with your hips just outside of shoulder width apart, and you're literally just going to sit straight down, kind of back and down. Um, if you have issues with getting all the way down, a lot of people suggest that you uh, widen your stance or you can pivot your toes out. I'll show you some of those variations to so just kind of show you um, what those look like, but it's very important to keep your chest up as much as possible. So I'm gonna show you a regular squat. Um, squats for me have, have kind of always been a little bit easy to get into, but um, I'll also show you a couple of um, stages where some people end up at when they first start squatting or getting into a fitness routine um, in terms of their range of motion and mobility. So this is called a regular air squat. I'm gonna go to squat down, give you a frontal view. Chest is nice and high on the side. We're squatting back. So if for some reason, as you're coming down, I think you can see my, as you're coming down, if for some reason as you're coming down, you can't keep your heels down on the ground and they start to come up, you should just stop there because proper form is gonna have you down so that you're fully stable and you can come all the way down. So again, if you're having trouble coming down, especially if you get to a certain point and you kind of collapse, um, and there's no strength in that particular range, uh, vertical range, you definitely want to stop where you have the most strength, make sure your heels are firmly planted, and that is your squat. You're going to work on these squats for as long as you need to, to be able to get the strength built up in your legs and the mobility. Um, to, there are some other techniques that I can go over in another video in terms of increasing your flexibility in your back and in your core to get your chest upright you see a lot of people when they do their squats you know you see them they're like this and it's really more of a hip bend that is not a squat not a squat squat is coming down so again if you can only come down so far making sure those heels are planted firmly down on the ground that's where it's at man that's where you got to be at if you're not sure how far to come down or you're a little bit nervous about that threshold that vertical um placement there you can always use a chair to go back to so you want to make sure that you know again your feet are hip width apart or you can go slightly out pivot your toes if there's pigeon toe your feet out if there's any uh, discomfort in the knees that might help a little bit and then 
You're just going to want to go back and sit back towards the chair, touch the chair, and up. There's no resting, hanging out here. Um, that could be part of a different exercise if you were, you know, in lieu of a wall sit, you could do that. I would actually prefer a wall sit because it encourages you to engage your core a little bit more by keeping your back up against the wall, but just quick little taps to make sure you have proper depth. A good squat, technically, is going to be anything that is at parallel or below parallel. So as long as you're at parallel, you're good to go. Um, woo, that took a lot out of me. Being out sick is, is no joke. So with regard to squatting, um, you know, I think this is a great way to um, build up those larger muscles in your body, which are your legs. Um, for women in general, you know, we tend to be very strong with our legs and a great way to um, burn up those calories and develop those muscles is by doing squats. And you can do squats with um, just your body weight. You can do them with um, dumbbells or kettlebells, you know. It's a great way to, you know, you can work on your shoulder girdle just by holding it up. One of my all-time favorites, actually I'm getting a little off track here, but one of my all-time favorites is doing um, a squat with a chest press because it does really encourage you to work on those core muscles. You can use anything from whatever weight's good for you, you know? All right, so now that I've whipped myself in the shape in, I don't know, 2.3 minutes, um, I'll be back on next week, Wednesday, with a new topic. If you have anything you want me to cover in particular, please do leave it in the comments below. Um, definitely share, celebrate the fact that I am still alive, because I know I am. Um, we'll try to get some breakfast down and see how that goes. And looking forward to next Wednesday. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.